Let me guess, you've formatted your hard drive only to realize that you've just deleted your kid's birthday photos. Or for work, you insert your SD card to start editing something and you get the dreaded message, card error. Most of us have been here where you feel like you've lost something digitally and can never get it back. I know I certainly have, and probably why you're here. This is where data recovery software comes into play. Like magic, they seem to recover digital files that we think have been gone forever. But how do they work? How successful are they at getting these lost digital files? And most importantly, how much is it worth it to you? And of course, what price are you willing to put on the files that you've lost? In this video, I'll review the top five data recovery software tools for 2024. I'll break down the scanning speeds, the success rate, the dashboard functionality, the pricing, and that way you can find the tools that best fit your situation. And if you stick around till the end, we can find out if you can get your files recovered for free. Regardless of what route you take or what data recovery software tool you choose, check out the description below for some discounts that help support the channel at no cost to you. Now, before we get started, if you're here because you've lost some data or you're trying to recover some lost data, the first and best thing you can do is stop adding any new files. So whether it's an SD card or an external hard drive, just stop writing any new information immediately. At number five, we have Recuba. Now, an important thing to know is the rest of the recovery software that we'll be talking about both is supported on Windows and Mac iOS. But for Recuva, it's exclusive to Windows. At a one-time cost of $20, Recuva is the most affordable option. I would say that Recuva is great for simple tasks like recently deleted files or minor lost files like accidentally emptying your recycle bin or formatting an SD card. It also supports USB thumb drives or external hard drives, making it great across multiple platforms of storage. Recuva's quick scan feature does scans in about a minute or less. Doing or scanning the most accessible parts of a drive, like the most recently deleted files. It does have a deep scan feature taking up to 24 hours, but this scan is a lot more elaborate scanning all the parts of the hard drive for situations like formatting a hard drive or a long time has passed since you've deleted the files. And so the neat feature about a deep scan is it runs smoothly in the background, thus still allowing you to use your computer while it does its work. While Recuva is a straightforward process, it lacks some customization, thus making it a little bit harder to work with for complex jobs that require specific partitions to be scanned. Additionally, Recuva success ratio does start to decline when you have damaged files that are more complex to recover. So for simple recovery tasks, Recuva is your go-to. Coming in at number four, we have R Studios, which a one-time payment will run you about $80, but R Studios is suitable for techies or those that require more complex recoveries. Our studio definitely supports USB drives as well as other removable hard drives. It's also one of the only two recovery data softwares that support NAS devices as well. The other feature to know about our studios is that it has a smart feature which assesses the health of your hard drive for potential failing in the future, which is great if you're already wary about the device that you're using. With RStudio, you can do deep scans in damaged or heavily fragmented hard drives, which is great. The deep scan takes about two to five hours, but it carefully looks through each partition of the hard drive for those complex or hard to recover files. If you've recently deleted something, RStudio's does have a quick scan feature, which takes about five to 15 minutes for it to complete the scan for those recently deleted files. What makes this software a little bit more complex is its dashboard. We spoke about customization and RStudio doesn't fail at letting you customize whatever you want when it comes to your scans. This customization can look at simple things like file types, the scanning depths, and the partition location to make the scan 
as specific as possible or tailored to what you need right now. While it's highly customizable, our studio does have a learning curve because of its customization. So if you're a beginner, but you're comfortable with learning, our studio makes it really tailored to what you need right now in order to recover whatever file it is that you've lost. At number three, we have Stellar Data Recovery. Now with Stellar Data Recovery, I would say with basic file types, you will have great success, something like a document or something recently deleted. But with media, something like a 15 minute video or some raw photos, something like that, Stellar had about a 50-50% recovery rate. So it may be less ideal for those focused on media recovery options. Stellar's quick scan feature will take just a couple minutes while its deep scan feature will take one to about three hours. The other thing to know is Stellar's external support. It supports SD cards, USB drives, external hard drives, and is the only other product on the list to support NAS devices. Stellar Data Recovery offers a very clean interface, making it an enjoyable experience for all levels. The layout makes it so that you can preview files before you recover them. This saves you space so that you don't have to recover everything, only what you need. The other thing to note is with quick scans, it's for recently deleted files, while deep scans are for those more complex jobs. Stellar offers some flexible pricing options. For the basic, you're looking at about $60 a year, and that is for your basic recovery options. For the next tier up, which they label the professional, you're looking at about $90 a year, which covers partition and unbootable system recovery. For the premium tier, you're looking at about $100 and that covers video and photo repair. At number two, we have Distro. Known for its high success rate and performance with photo and document repair, it comes in at a cost of about $89. Distro offers a unique feature called the Recovery Ball. Now, this is an added data protection benefit to Mac users. The Recovery Vault acts as an extra layer of security. By keeping a record of recently deleted files, if you need to quickly access them or recover them. Additionally, this drill is equipped to handle unmounting issues with Macs where devices or drives just all of a sudden become disconnected. In terms of speed, this drill's quick scan feature usually completes its scan in under two minutes. Now for those harder jobs or more complex jobs, the deep scan usually finishes in about two to three hours. Like with the other great services, this drill does support external drives like USBs, SD cards, and hard drives. The interface is clean and easy to traverse where everything is organized with its tabs from its scanning to recovered files to the recovery vault, making it very easy to traverse. It also does a file preview, which again, can save you time and space when you're trying to recover only certain files. Coming in at number one, we have EaseUS Data Recovery Wizard, which I chose for the unbeatable combination of user-friendliness, versatility, and reliable performance. EaseUS is designed to work with everyone, from beginners trying to just recover normal or basic files to the professionals that are working on more complex data recovery files. EaseUS really shines with its range of file supports supporting over 200 different file types. From photos to videos to documents to much more, it makes it suitable and ready for any data recovery scenario that you can throw at it. One of the best parts of EaseUS is its recovery time. With its quick scan feature, it was done in just about 30 seconds, making it great for those recently deleted files and it can get you back up and running in no time. And for those larger or more complex drive data recovery situations, the deep scan feature only took about an hour to two hours, making it suitable to get you back up and running even with more complex data recovery situations. EaseUS is highly compatible with different types of storage devices, ranging from USB to SD cards to SSD drives and even optical drives. Its dashboard is also another strong point, making a simple to use interface very easy to use for anyone. 
You can view and filter recovered files by type, which makes it easy to pinpoint exactly what you need. It's intuitive enough for beginners to not need such a steep learning curve to use and recover their files, but it's organized enough to let professionals really customize whatever it is they need for the recovery situation. When it comes to pricing, EaseUS is pretty flexible to fit whatever need it is that you have. For the monthly option, you have a price of about $70 a month. For an annual price of use, it only runs you about $100 for the entire year. Now, they have a third option where you can buy a lifetime licensing for $150. Now, it is notable on the lifetime licensing that it does support any upgrades that they release. With these flexible choices, you can pick whatever fits your recovery needs. Speaking of budget needs, you're probably wondering, can I do this software recovery for free? The short answer is yes. But let's talk real quick about the limitations and where they kick in. From the top five, four services offer a free option that you can use. Recuva has no data caps, but the recovery is pretty basic overall, and it doesn't offer any automatic updates like it does with the paid version. This makes it a pretty good option, but only if you're on Windows. Distrill does give you 500 megabytes for free, but if you have a larger data recovery job, this might be a deal breaker. With EaseUS, you do have a 500 megabyte data cap unless you share it on social media, where it'll unlock a two gigabyte data cap, which is nice, but some of its strongest features are locked behind the paywall. Now, Stellar does give you the most data for free, coming in at one gigabyte, but it is notable that it only supports basic, quick, and deep scans. The only way you can get RAID or NAS device support is with its paid version. These free versions are nice for those small recovery jobs, but for the jobs that are more complex, you're gonna have to pay if you truly want your data back. Now, when it comes to the full version, let me just do a quick recap so that you can choose the product that's best suited for you. For a basic and budget-friendly, Recuva is a great option for beginners. And again, it's only for Windows users, so it's very limited, but a great option nonetheless. Now, if you're a pro or super tech savvy, RStudio is great as it does support RAID and NAS devices. Stellar Data Recovery is one of the more balanced approaches when it comes to data recovery software, as it offers not only quick and deep scans that are easy for people to use and figure out, but also the budget friendliness is great. Distrill stands out for all the features that it provides, including the recovery vault, which is gonna offer peace of mind for those Mac users. And for the most versatile software, we're looking at EaseUS as our top pick not only balancing user friendliness, as well as complexity of the scans that it can complete, but it's also great for Mac and Windows. Thanks for watching. I hope going through the top five helps you pick the best data recovery software for your needs. And truly, I hope you get your files back. Before you leave, check out the description below for some discounts and support the channel at no cost to you. See you on the next one.